Please welcome Rosario Dawson. That was fun. This is my favorite thing about being here. I can't believe I haven't been here in seven years. I it's know. crazy talk. I, I know. Seven years. Seven years. Where have you been? What happened? Why didn't you come back? Just dancing by myself. Dancing by yourself. <laughs> come here and join us dancing. It's so fun. I know. I love it. I dance with you guys at home. Uh, do you really? I do. I, I hear that so much. People watch the show and dance at home. I, I mm -hmm. love that. Yeah. Video, do, do that. Record yourself dancing at home and send it to me, because I like to see that stuff. All right? I will do that. Um, I just danced backstage, actually, what I was doing. I did a little video. Listen to Lil' Kaiser. <laughs> so uh, you just came back from someplace. You're always going someplace, but where were you recently? Um, I just actually got back from Ghana. Really? I traveled. I was going, I went to India, and, but it was just such a, going to DC, it was like such a huge thing. But I just got back from Ghana, and we just did an amazing trip out there. I was really excited. Yeah, that's my partner, Brima. Wow. We have a fashion line that we are based um, in Ghana with. Yeah, what are we you doing? We work all throughout West Africa. We work with different artisans and we're highlighting and amplifying all the work that they're doing on the ground from recycled glass beads to batiking and using indigo, which is a natural plant dye where our original denim came from. I love indigo. It's been absolutely yeah. amazing. Fantastic. Yeah, and where so are you we're actually it? an opening ceremony just right now. Oh, so good. it's a really big deal because, you know, it's 20 years um, kids' anniversary mm -hmm. this year. And Chloe Sevigny, who's in it, also has her line in opening ceremony. Oh, we could great. not have planned it better to end up having our, our work there together. I love so opening I'm very ceremony. Excited. That's yes. a great store. Yes. So you, so you like traveling. You actually are someone. When most people think it's a hassle, you like airports. You like traveling. You like mm -hmm. all of it. I do. What do you like about airports? Uh, I just, you know, when you get to airports, it's like it's an interesting thing because you know a, a Heathrow is one of my favorite airports, and it's so huge and it's a nightmare for most people. But when you're there, you see a lot of people coming in from all around the world. So women in saris from India, Africans coming in, and you can see in their suits and their whole thing, and it's this big trip that they're doing, and women in burkas, and they'll have to show their face just because you have to when you're going through customs. And so it's like this interesting moment where you see all of these people from all these different cultures with different languages, and they're all doing the same thing. Yeah. For me, it's just like this constant reminder: as much as we're all our differences are, we can come together. Because it's one of the like, oldest traditions of human life mm -hmm. is migration. Right. We travel, we move. We yeah. come together and we're doing that together. And yeah. you see people like who are, I'm a pro flyer, but then you have like people who like never really, you could see they're never, and they're older and they've never really flown before. They don't understand the liquids things and people help. And yeah. I just, I love that. It yeah. makes me I, feel really I'm inspired. actually, I'm, I'm producing a show called Hello Goodbye that we, we have someone at, airport, at airports around and they're talking and interviewing people, seeing where they're going, who they're waiting for and stuff like that and learning mm -hmm. all the stories. So uh, Daredevil is based on a Marvel comic book, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so uh, it, and he is blind and his superpower is, he can, he, he is right, is he's blind. Yes. And what does he do? Well, he's a vigilante. You know, his, his, uh, Charlie Cox plays this um, man, Matt Murdock, and he is a lawyer and um, by day, and at night, you know, he fights crime. And he, he grew up in Hell's Kitchen. He had an accident when he was a child that had chemicals spill in his eyes. He was trying to help someone and chemicals spilled in his eyes. And it made him blind, but it also helped to heighten his other senses. So he has a way of almost seeing better than people who can see because his hearing and his smell and all his other senses are so strong. And I think it's just a remarkable thing to see something that's considered a disability that can be used as an advantage. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that it's a Marvel property we're dealing with a real person, like he's a human, he's fallible. Yeah. He's not like some alien, he doesn't have these super strengths. So when he gets into these dangerous situations, you really are nervous. So it feels very intense and it has, it's almost more, it has that amazing kind of thing of like a real true crime procedural because it's PG-16, it's not like Kitty. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, you have this, reality of like these great fun. It's, it's fun. Uh-oh. Did you want to see more videos? Hold on. These two girls got up in the middle of my Q&A and, and left. And I have a microphone. Oh, you! Ah!